ever since I got this Fox 34, the Saga Squad has been bombarding me with comments saying I need a matching gold rear shock. And I agree. So I bought this used Fox Float DPS factory for $375. But I wonder, is it really worth the money? This bike came with a RockShox Deluxe rear shock, and I feel like it works pretty good. But upgrading a rear shock is one of those things that you don't really realize what you're missing until you do the upgrade. This float shock weighs about 100 grams lighter and has way more adjustability, including an open, medium, and firm mode, and also three open mode adjustments, plus the obvious rebound knob. As for getting a matching rear shock, I don't really feel like the Kashima coating on the rear shock matches the fork. I really wonder why Fox does that. The only problem with this shock, it has bearings in the eyelet, which my bike can't use. And to remove them, Fox recommends to buy their $120 tool. There's gotta be a way around that. So I found a video online that explains how to do it. You first push through the bearing. I'm using a V-brake mount and a square taper bottom bracket tool on the other side. Then, I picked up these two bolts to thread into the cups. Their threads don't match completely, but we'll just cut our own new ones, since these cups are being tossed anyway. All right, it worked. Now for the mounting hardware. These two packages are for the top and bottom, and they cost $20 a piece. It's pretty pricey. Install is complete and we're out here at the trail. With this shock all dialed in with the sag and rebound adjusted to my liking, it's time to ride. After I switched the shock to the medium mode for the climb, I felt like I was flying. The firm setting was a little too firm and it felt like I was on a hardtail, but not completely locked out. So I kept it on the medium mode. But when descending, I noticed that this shock had a much more supportive spring feel in the middle of the shock and had increasing support the deeper I got into the stroke. Right after that run, I threw on my RockShox Deluxe and I had it set to the same amount of sag. Right away, I could tell that it was much stiffer, but not to the point of discomfort. On the descent, it felt fine, but it had a bit of unwanted deflection. Coming across the line, I was shocked to see that I had ran 30 seconds slower. So was it worth the retail price of $500? Eh, I'd say probably not. Sure, it was more plush, but this RockShox works just fine. But if you're having fun upgrading your bike like I am and have the extra cash to spend, then it's a good upgrade. But at the end of the day, $500 is a decent amount of money. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.